So guys, I went to sleep and woke up this morning to an email from YouTube letting me know that my video is taken down. Now, I don't have any strikes or anything. I still have access to all the tools on YouTube, such as uploading and going live. So I'm unbothered. And of course, I don't make my income from YouTube. So I'm definitely okay with the fact that the video is taken down. Although the video was picking up traction, like I went to sleep to 700 views and woke up to 8,000 so um, the video was doing very well but unfortunately I believe the man in the video does not want the video circulating and um, he may have recorded it and of course my video was taken down so I went back in I edited the video to be YouTube friendly so you can view this video after this intro of course um, and if you'd like to view the video uncensored, you can go to my IG. It is um, at S-H-A-N underscore T-A-S-S-T-I-C-C -S -S underscore. And you can watch the video in full and uncensored on my IG. I also have a new YouTube page. Well, it's not new. It's been around, but I am going to start to use it. And it is Shantastic, the number two trill t-r-i-l-l -L, because y'all know this is where we keep the trill and we're going to keep a trill over there just as well but unfortunately the person who struck my video is not keeping a trill maybe they have something to hide i don't know but hey again this video has been edited to be youtube friendly so i am going to actually repost it well actually i am going to premiere it so hopefully everyone will join in and watch it and get the traction going back and also head over to my IG so that you can see it in full and uncensored. Hey guys, it's Shantastic and welcome to Shantastic Trill TV. I'd like to shout out the Trill ones, my subscribers, my supporters, and all of you who rock with me. Now, if you're returning, welcome back because you know this is where we keep it Trill. So guys, you may have heard of YouTuber Minister Jap. Minister Jap has been on YouTube for a good amount of years now. I believe I started to follow Jap um, in the late part of 2013 or early 2014, but Jap was forced to take a hiatus because a group of what some may call angry black women did not like what Jap was spewing on his platform and they all banded together, raised thousands of dollars and got Jap and a few other black men who spoke on black women in a disparaging way, so they thought. Um, got them flagged off of YouTube. Now, Jap sat out for a while and then he resurfaced and then I continued to follow Jap. Now, a lot of women may ask, why do you subscribe to this dude? Why do you listen to him? Well, you know what? Jap is funny. Like I said, I have been following him off and on for years and I can respect Jap because he stands in his shit. You know, I have respect for someone who can stand on their opinion and do not care one way or the other what someone has to say about them. Whether they're a man or a woman, it does not matter to me. No one is going to tell me where I can go and who I can and cannot subscribe to on YouTube. Now, over time, Jap has become what some might call a YouTube sensation. Um, Jap grew up on the south side of the Chicagoland area. He learned about, you know, dealing with the streets, dealing with corporate America, dealing with relationships, and a lot of things. Jap takes his personal experiences and he kind of breaks them down and he offers a lot of people the game and knowledge so that they'll know how to maneuver through this, you know, this chess game of life. So there's really no in between with Jap. You either like him or you don't like him. So if you don't like him, don't go over there trolling because he will cook your ass. A lot of the topics that Jap speaks on, I find to be extremely interesting. I have no issue with these topics at all. If I don't like it, I leave because that's what you probably should do when you don't like something. Now, one of his topics were black men in the 90s produced the simp culture. That was an amazing topic. So if you have time, go back and watch that video. Another one was when old niggas are touched by the ratchet culture. And he kind of touched on how these 45 and up niggas are still acting ratchet and still acting like they're 20 years old. One last topic that I was very interested in and that I enjoyed was feminism is the new racism y'all go check jack out he may be a little controversial but you never know you might enjoy him
Now being on YouTube and being as opinionated as Jap is, you are bound to get into some type of drama with other content creators. Jap has gone toe to toe with the likes of Hassan Campbell, Tommy Sotomayor, and yes, even Phil from Phil the Advice Show. Now recently, a tape has surfaced, a three year old tape has surfaced of a man getting knocked out and a lot of people are speculating that it is Minister Jap. Now, to be honest, I can't put my finger on it. I cannot say if this is Jap or not. The hairline is very distinctive, but hey, who's to say this is Jap? Y'all, take a look and also listen to the voice and y'all tell me what's up. Now, again, this is an old recording. It's three years old, but y'all know the trolls are having a field day with this. And y'all know that people like to bring up old shit on YouTube all the time. It's stale tea, but they like to act like they're spilling it for the first time. But again, take a look and also listen and let me know what you all think. Man, be cool. You be cool. Damn. 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 Now, Jab did respond to this, and he also said that he is going to reveal proof that this is not him, and at that point, he does not accept any apologies. He is not even accepting donations as an apology once he proves that this is not him in the recording. You all, listen to this. It's early in the morning, man. You know, um, like I say, man. We're going to start uh, doing what we need to do over here, man, to separate ourselves from a lot of these motherfucking lames and shit. I'm seeing the trolls and shit. They doing their work this week. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Shout out to my man Lowski, man. Um, uh, for the last... Well, I ain't going to keep saying this the last time because after we, uh, we, we exposed everything because we locating the people. We located the dude. You know what I'm saying? It's just only a matter of time for, you know what I'm saying, for me to clear all this shit up. That is not me on that tape. And I'm telling you niggas now, don't come kissing my ass, copping no please, talk about some, it did kind of look like you, but I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was just kind of reporting the news. Everybody was talking about it. Uh, no, no, niggas, no, niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not accepting no apologies. I said I was going to accept donations and apology for them. I ain't even want that from you niggas. You niggas I'm trying to uh, build y'all little stupid ass platforms with that fuck ass shit that I've been cleared up three years ago. I'm going to clear it up again. And this time, because I already talked to the nigga cousin. I, listen, you trust and believe. This is Chicago. It's a very small knit town. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna stop with all that light-skinned niggas looking like shit. Um, that shit, we gonna clear this shit up. We gonna clear this shit up. Again, that is not me and that motherfucking tape. I already got the fucking phone call. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna clear that up. We gonna clear that up. So again, all of you niggas, I, I, hey, I'ma love to see the apologies y'all niggas gonna cop. I don't wanna hear shit. Y'all credibility gonna be shot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all credibility gonna be shot because I know where the niggas be hanging at and I'm just waiting for my... Shout out to my nigga Lowski. My nigga Lowski being real. So there you have it. Minister Jab said that is not him and that he is going to produce the receipts to prove that that was not him in the recording getting knocked out. In the meantime, I'm going to be on standby waiting for him to produce those receipts and I'll keep you guys posted. In the meantime, get down in the comment section and let me know. Do y'all think that was Minister Jap or do y'all think that was just some clown out here running around in a white beater and ashy jeans, get talking shit and getting knocked out? Let me know what y'all think. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future commentary.